welcome to the third and last part of the restaurant booking app. In part one of this series, we created this first screen. Then in the second part, we created this one. That means we created the classes for the home page and the detail page. So if we want to see the first page, we have to call the home page class in the main function and do the same if you want to see the second screen. Today, we are going to implement the navigation between those two screens. We will also introduce the hero widget that will automatically create a hero transition like this one. The hero animation will be based on the image of the item in the list view on the first page. This image will become the background image for the second page. At the end, we should have something that behaves like this. I will include links in the description if you want to check part 1 and part 2 of the series and also a link for the hero widget if you want to learn more about it. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. The first thing we will have to do is to implement the navigation. For this, we will add a gesture detector on the widget that we will have to tap on to go to the second screen. In our case, it will be this whole container. We need to find this container in the widget tree. We should find it inside a list view. Now, we only have to refactor the code using one of the options that Flutter slash VS Code give us. Then add the gesture detector. On tab, we should navigate to the detail page. It's working as expected, but now we need to navigate back to the first screen using this circle avatar button. Let's do this now. We are done with the navigation. Now we need to add the hero widget to have a transition animation when we tap on an item in the list view. For this, we have to wrap both widgets with the hero widget and give them a tag property. This tag can be any object. The important thing is to use the same tag on both pages. In our case, we will use the URL of the image for the tag. In the home page class, we will refactor the code and wrap this container with the hero widget and use the URL for the tag property. Remember that I said earlier that it's important to use the same tag on both pages to make sure that we will always have the image URL on the detail page, we will pass it to the constructor of this class. Let's do this now. Let's create a constructor for the detail page. That way we can use it here now. Here we need to provide the URL. Now everything is set up. We can refactor this code to wrap it with a hero widget and use the URL for the tag property. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this series. Please like and subscribe.